week we're staying at Lake Coahuila Veterans Memorial Park which is located in La Quinta, California, which is just outside of Palm Springs. Yeah, this is a really nice little park that we really enjoyed our stay here. While we're here, we traveled into Palm Springs and did a little sightseeing. We did uh, celebrity house hunting. Yeah, because this was, Palm Springs was the place for all the Hollywood folks to have a second home to get away from, you know, the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. So they came out here and a lot of stars had homes here. In fact, I'm one of the most famous was Frank Sinatra. We also found the home where Elvis and Priscilla Presley spent their honeymoon, which was rented. We also found another home that Elvis actually owned, as well as uh, Bob uh, Hope's home. Bob and, and Dolores Hope's home, Kirk Douglas's home. Yeah, let's, let's show you the video. Who's across the street? Hedy Lamar. $11.99. 12 32 That what? Maybe. You can't see anything in this house. Nope. And this house is Bob and Dolores Hopes. Oh. We're alive now, you probably won't be able to get in this close. Yeah, so this is the thing, you, you're looking for celebrity homes and, or past celebrity homes, we should say. And the thing of it is, you, you pretty much can't see anything because they're very exclusive. Um, they've all got a wall around them. And, and tall hedges. And very tall hedges, like uh, this one here for Bob Hope, you can't see. Hattie Lamar's across the street there, you can't see anything. Uh, Lucy and uh, Desi Ricardo's home down is down the street a little bit. We passed that. Same thing. Just all you can see is a gate. You know, maybe a plaque if there's if there's even that. But oh well, it's as close as we're gonna get. That's right. And until we get to Hollywood, then we can try this all over again and not yeah. see anything. Wow. Yeah. We think the house behind us is Bing Crosby's house. Now, according to what we're looking at on the internet, it says it's house 1101 but we think it's been renumbered because it's now numbered to a different street than what it's listed but it's the only house that would fit that location so that's what we think it is and it would make sense that you know bob hope and bing crosby would have houses right down the street from each other they're in all those movies together and everything so kind of cool the house right behind me was formerly owned by kirk douglas this was one of his first homes that he owned in the Palm Springs area. To the best of our knowledge, the house that we just went by, the White House, was one of Elvis's two properties in Palm Springs. I understand he didn't spend a lot of time there, but this is one of his two houses. This is one of Frank Sinatra's homes. It's located in Palm Springs, California. And actually, Probably when he lived here, it wasn't as populated as it seems to be now, as it is on the main road. But, and it's completely surrounded. But there is an official plaque, so we knew this was actually Frank Sinatra's home. We were driving along, and we ran into this, I don't know what it is, but it's called Go Robo, Robo Lights. Robo Lights. Robo Lights. Um, it's this weird eclectic uh, collection of, well, I'm sure the neighbors think it's junk, but it's just... It looks like it's from old amusement parks or movie sets or something that this person has painted up. Yeah, everything's painted bright colors and... Well, here, I mean, get over, so you can see it over my shoulder. Everything's painted all these bright colors and everything. It's just, it's bizarre, but... Apparently, you it, you can go online and book an appointment to tour it. Uh, we like I said, we ran into some people who actually have a tour scheduled. They were booked out like a couple weeks out, so I don't know. Just something different. Figured we had to stop and check it out. Yeah, just 
just look at this stuff in the detail. I mean, it's just stuff made out of stuff, all painted bright colors. There's amusement park rides back there, Santas, statues, everything. And apparently, it got the collection got so big that he ended up buying additional lots and expanding it. Oh look! What? Oh, that's a golf cart. I thought it looked like from the Flintstones. Yeah. There's paths through here. So what do you think? Strange. Very strange. Yeah. Very strange. We decided after a day of celebrity house hunting to take a stop and get ourselves a treat. And so we stopped at a local ice cream place called Lambert's. And one of the things they're noted for is their Dole Whip float. And that's it right here. And who says Disney World's the only place you can get a Dole Whip? Looks pretty good, can't wait. This Dole Whip float has pineapple in it, uh, pineapple Dole Whip, um, a piece of waffle cracker or whatever, um, and a cherry. Of course, it has an umbrella too. In addition to doing some celebrity house hunting, we also visited a local cemetery, Desert Memorial. And that's where Sonny Bono and Frank Sinatra and his wife and his mother and father are all buried. So that was kind of neat. We had to pay our respects to the chairman of the board while we were here. Right. And the mayor. Right, right. Um, Sonny Bono's mother is also buried right next to him. Right. You can't come to Palm Springs without paying your respects to the chairman of the board. And that's what we're doing right now is we are in Desert Memorial Park in Cathedral City, and this is where Frank Sinatra is buried. His headstone is right here. He's buried next to his wife, Barbara Ann. His uncle is buried over here, and his parents are up there. So this is one of those things that, you know, it's kind of interesting. You know, these people meant something to us and to a lot of others throughout the years, so we thought we'd come and pay our respects. We also understand that Sonny Bono is buried in this cemetery, so we're going to go find that gravestone next. We found the finding resting place of Sonny Bono right here. He's laid to rest next to his mother. Actually, his mother was laid to rest next to him. For those of you who don't know, Sonny Bono was half of the Sonny and Cher um, combination, uh, performing artists through the 60s and 70s, but he also was a U.S. Congressman and the Mayor of Palm Springs. He was a longtime resident of the city of Palm Springs and this is a place he loved, and obviously this is where he uh, chose to be laid to rest. It was kind of interesting, a little bit of history. Yeah, it, that was very interesting. There was a list of other important people that are buried in that cemetery, however, those really are the only two that we super famous right or yeah, we're familiar know. familiar with yes yeah yeah there's other there's another cemetery across the street where it's mostly the mausoleums and there are other stars who are remains are there we didn't venture over to that one no though. we didn't but i believe uh dinah shore is also buried rock hudson has a memorial there right um I can't remember who else. Others, I think. But, but anyways, we didn't go there, so we, can't, we don't have the details. But if you want to check that out while you're here, you can. Mm -hmm. 
and we did um, visit downtown Palm Springs. We didn't spend a lot of time there, but we did, you know, see a couple of different. Yeah, places. they do have a small Walk of Fame and some statues and such that you can check out while you're there. Right, and Randy wanted to see the Sonny Bono statue. Yes. Mainly. Yep. Okay, Randy, let's hear your thoughts about the campground. I thought it was pretty nice. Um, it is a county park. The sites are reasonable, but they're not huge. They're not like a state park or like the Maricopa Regional Parks that we stayed at in Arizona where you had a lot of space. You are a lot closer to your neighbors, but you're not as close as a private campground would be. There is a nice lake here, but there is, the lake comes with some restrictions. You cannot swim in the lake. You cannot put a boat in the lake. You cannot put any part of you in the lake or any part of your dog in the lake. So those are a couple of things to take into account when you come here, but you can fish and a lot of people come here for the fishing. Right. The park is very convenient. We are about 20 miles from Palm Springs and you can jump on the Interstate 10 to get there or you can drive through the California 111. What did you think? I thought it was nice. The park is actually located right now on the outskirts of any development. There is a little bit, but pretty much the land is undeveloped. Um, yeah, is. and some of it will always be because there's mountains behind us. Right, right. And the area is does seem to be growing with houses being built. Everywhere. There's a lot of amenities, stores, restaurants. Uh, that kind of stuff in the area. Yeah, it, but most of that is probably a little bit of a drive. You gotta assume that if you want to get to a convenience store or whatever, it's probably between five and ten miles right. from the park, right. which isn't too bad, but it's all urban driving. Right. There's a little bit of hiking. You can also ride your bikes, and the one main road that we rode on, they did have a lane specific for bike riding. Yeah, we've seen that in a lot of the roads around here. There is room, there's biking capability so that you can ride along the side of the road without worrying about traffic. And being Jan January, while it's snowing and blowing and freezing temperatures in western New York, our weather has been sunny and very mild. Yeah. High about 80 and no rain and extremely sunny. Yeah, yeah, we've really enjoyed our time here. Right. We did experience, though, a minor earthquake oh, yeah. the night that we got here. It felt like, actually, Randy thought I fell off the bed, but <laughs> actually it felt like a strong wind shook the trailer. Yeah, it felt like some of you were pushing on the trailer or it shook yeah. the trailer. I didn't and, know what it was, but... Uh, and it, we didn't realize till the next morning and we heard it on the news that yep. the area had suffered a minor earthquake. Yeah, it was probably about a point two or about a two on the yeah. Richter scale. It yeah. wasn't really bad. So it, it, we may have felt an aftershock or it may just have been the earthquake itself, but that was our kind of our welcome to California. Yeah, yep. We can't come to California without appreciating an earthquake. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Zephyr Travels. Hit the bell for notifications because we post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you follow along on our journey. we got a lot more places to go. Right. And until our next adventure in California, we will see you down the road. Bye, everybody. Bye. Coila Lake State Park. We're going to put it down there so that you can see if we're not pronouncing it correct. We asked the local, and this is how we were told to pronounce it, Coila, like there's a W in it. Just point out where no, we No, it's okay. You're fine.